Okay, so perhaps my favourite of Umberto Lenzi's films from the 1960s was his, well... This film itself is not a knockoff of Diabolic. I don't know if Diabolic was out yet, but Umberto Lenzi was on a, not able to retain the rights to comic book character Diabolic nor Satanic, so Criminal had to do. It's very garage compared to Barbara's Diabolic, if you've seen that film, and if you're observing the screen caps here, you know exactly what I mean. Based off of the comic book character Criminal, in any case, Lenzi attempted to realise this, this figure within very low budget environment and I find that act in and of itself really fascinating how he attempts to get from A to B despite lacking frankly sufficient funds to do so. What is important to note however I'm not familiar with the criminal comic books really although apparently Lenzi argued with Criminal's creator Luciano Secchi about the changes he made with the character. Lenzi I suppose described the criminal comic book character as a quote a bit Nazi skin fascist un unquote and they opted to make a, a fun film instead, a, um, a lighter tone in contrast to the combination of sex and violence present in the, oh, this is the term for these um, kind of Italian comics, uh, Fumetti Neri, Diabolic was the originator of this. He emerged in, he originated in 1962. I'll just read out some more of the information here. The lead role was played by Dutch actor Roald Boss under the name Glenn Saxon, who previously had leading roles in spaghetti westerns such as Go With God, Gringo. Boss did a screen test for Lindsay, who was looking to portray Griminal as a younger character compared to his Fumetti counterpart. Shooting for the film lasted approximately two months. Interiors were shot in Rome, while exteriors were filmed in Madrid, Istanbul, the Black Sea, and London. Most of the physical stunts in the film were performed by Boss double Attilio Severini, except for one of the more dangerous sequences involving Criminal running atop a speeding train. Did... Did Boss perform that himself? Goodness. <laughs> Brave man. Well, he, he, it may be him, because it... <laughs> you see his face. Good stuff. <laughs> no, it's a cool film. Like, there are times when one is quite impressed with what you see in Criminal. It, that's why I would claim it's almost quite easily my favourite of Lindsay's films from the 60s. I mean, you've, you've, I've uploaded videos for a lot of them. I mean, if you've seen those, I mean, you know they're pretty garage and kind of, you know, they are, right? And, but this is interesting. Lindsay, this is a quote, I'm reading, reading this out here. Lindsay later noted that when he rewatched the film on television that it seemed even better than when I shot it in 1966. But I was a bit perplexed. Now I appreciate the aspect of irony in it, something which comic strips didn't have because they were vulgar horrible it does have the feel of a comic book kind of stylistically it does later what um films like another the barber film was doing this too to be fair and piero viverelli's satanic from 68 i think that's from they they films later like the dick tracy or the sin city they, a lot of comic book adaptations came out later but a few of them opted for a very directly comic book panel kind of approach very kind of what might be called jarish and stylistic you just write non-subtle replication of comic book panels dick tracy did that and excuse me sin city did that um i i, I always felt that the, that was joss whedon's approach of that avengers 2012 film that was that was what made that so successful and dynamic that's i think that's why comic book fans loved that so much at that time compared to previous adaptations and then why they didn't like the ones afterward is because they abandoned that style um more or less with the russo brothers and all doing all their nonsense if Criminal seems like the kind of film that will appeal to you, well, I don't, I don't know. It's not. I'm not hiding anything about it. It probably will.